Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a test. You are about to dive into another episode of Mr. A's Thoughts, presented by the Double RT Boxing Show in 5, 4, 3, 2. Yes! In the head! <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in, Mr. A's Thoughts. Hit that thumbs up. New viewers, if you have still lasted past this 30-second mark, hope you be kind enough for the gift, the holiday spirit. Subscribe. Get the show to 16... Six, I keep saying 1,600, but I wish. Get it to, yes, get it to 1,600 by getting it to 600 first going into the new year. So, new viewer, please... Hit that subscribe button. Get it up to 600. If you're a guy who just keeps coming in because you like boxing talk but you haven't subscribed yet, say fuck it. I'm going to subscribe to you, Mr. A, and the Double RT Boxing Show. Click, click. Hit the thumbs up. Now, into the mind of the host. <laughs> Happy New Year. Okay. A nice one. Like I said, if you are a new viewer and you're thinking, what the fuck? Are you going to start talking boxing? Yes, that's what we do on the Double RT Boxing Show. We talk that boxing. And you know, you old viewers, we talk the belts. We talk the rankings. We love international belts. We love the continental belts. We love the NABO belts. And right now, we are talking WBC. International Heavyweight Belts. Two of them. Two of them, folks. The WBC International Heavyweight Champion, Philip Horovich. Versus the WBC Silver International Heavyweight Champion. Because, you know, the Silver's always got to eventually fight the champions, right? And like I said, these belts, you know, climb the ladders, you know. You got to see who's the best, you know, who's the best prospects. Like I said, Hovavich is the international champion. You guys know who the silver champion is? Who's so like, hey, let me prove I'm worth to be in the ring with Philip. I want the real international. I don't want this silver shit. Just like Dylan White's like, hey. Why am I the WBC Silver? I want Deontay Wilder. Do you know who the international silver is? Let's talk about it right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. In the thoughts of Mr. A. We're talking no other than... <laughs> Philip Horovich could possibly fight Nathan Gorman. He is the WBC Silver International Champion. Nathan Gorman versus Philip Horovich. You know, we just saw Gorman. No, he fought he were uh Kajano. Kajano, even though he lost that fight and he didn't he, he threw out a, a, a little of a stinker. But he, he showed like, oh, okay, maybe this could be some problems for Gorman. It's a big guy putting on some pressure, putting on some heat, some some leather. You know, Gorman has the, the foot and the hand speed advantage over a lot of people. But we saw, you know, he's a pretty tall dude himself. But Kajano, is he Hovich size? 6'6"? Six, six? Hovich is 6'6", six, 7-0. Six, you know, 7-0, 5 knockouts. Gorman, 15-0, 11 knockouts. 6'3". 73-inch reach. I'm pretty sure Hovich is probably going to have him on that. You know? I don't know how deep their amateur records are. I don't know anything about that. Does it really matter? Sometimes it does. Sometimes. You know? Maybe they have composure. You know? But I I think that's I think that's what the amateurs and all that pedigree background probably does best for you. Keeps you calm in the fire. Keeps you composed. You know, it makes you Hit that subscribe button real calm. You don't fucking just run and hit that shit. I got your back, Mr. A. No, you're like, I subscribe, Mr. A. Because I have 493 
previous videos I watched of yours. Good amateur background with you, Mr. A. <laughs> I'm in a jackass here. Mr. A, what do you think of that fight? Hovervich, Gorman, you know, obviously Gorman's going to have the, the foot speed, the hand speed. He's going to be able to move around him. Yeah, he's going to be able to get some shots off on Hovervich. Is Hovervich going to just wear him down with the one-two, one-two, that, that awkward pressure he does, that kind of like uh, Joy Joy's just big-ass man pressure? Like I said, Hovavich got his WBC international just recently. That's funny that Gorman's been the silver longer than Hovavich been the, the original. But Hovavich got his when he K'd old man sore. And Gorman got his, he beat Mohamed Saul, Saul Salbi or something. So, you know, obviously Mansoor being the bigger name, that was a worth of a bigger fight. They saved the internet. Because the last I saw for the, the international, I looked it up, Dylan White and David Allen had it. You know, they, they fought for the vacant version. Then Dylan White, I don't know if he kept it for a while, but a year late, uh, about a year and a half later, fucking Suzman, Kuzman and Mansoor went to fight for it. They got a head clash. Then uh, Hovavich and Mansoor fought for it, and Hovavich got that shit. But I'm just like this is Mr. A thoughts. What do you think of the fight? You know, WBC International Champion taking on the WBC Silver International. That's what we. That's why you got you got to talk the belts. You got to talk the belts. That's why. This is what the show's about. You like the belts. You talk the belts. Look at the matchups we get. Gorman trying to climb up the rankings. Like, hey, I may not be at A level. You know, but who's the best of the B levels or the C levels, however you want to count it? Oh, Hovavich is the best because he has that international belt, and I'm just a silver international. Shit. Cash in time right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. Mr. A's thoughts. Please subscribe. Get the show to 600. See you in the new year.